uh, got something new in. Now, when I was a kid, uh, I mean, I've had this this rod here forever since before I was born. This rod is older than me. It's a telescopic rod. Uh, this one, uh, it's only five feet long. It's a five foot, well, actually, a five and a half foot rod. Uh, I don't use it anymore. This was probably one of the best rods I had, had when I was a kid. I don't use it anymore because I don't want anything to happen to it. You can see I've had to repair it a couple times myself. Uh, but since I was a kid, I've always loved telescopic rods. I've had to carry them around with me in my bags and stuff like that. It's, it's just always what I used before I started getting my big stuff uh, recently. And uh, so since I quit using this one, I retired this one. I don't want anything to happen to it. I mean, I had a couple of these. One of them was actually snapped in half by an alligator. Uh, but this one's still solid. Uh, but ever since then, since I was a kid, I've been trying to find another one that could withstand what those things withstood. And uh, I, on eBay, there were I got some of these. They're like three dollars for these telescopic rods. But as you can see, this one's in pieces. Uh, it just it oh it it fell apart. This one was never even used. This one broke before it even got spooled up. We were messing around with it, trying to see how the action was on it, and it just snapped. Uh, yeah, that was junk. I had another one of those, they were like three bucks. Uh, I gave it to a subscriber a while back, and he was casting out with it, and it snapped. Uh, so yeah, that's out of the question. Uh, just recently, uh, I'll put the Amazon link down below. Uh, I just got this in. Eau Claire Rods. Telescopic rod comes in this nice uh, synthetic leather pouch. They, uh, it's it's pretty nice. I, mean, I just I just got it today. I've been looking at it. Uh, this is solid. This is all metal, right here. This is all metal. It's nice solid. Uh, it's listed as a spinning reel, spinning rod. But if you look at the eyelets really close, let me show you uh, as an example. This old one, this is a spinning spinning rod. See the big eyelets on it? This one's smaller. Uh, this other cheap one that broke was listed as a casting rod. It's listed as a casting rod. As you can see, the eyelet's a little bit bigger on this one. It's actually about the same size, but it's more open on this one. So I'm considering this, this is more of like a hybrid. It's a uh, it's listed as a spinning rod, but I think you can put any kind of reel on there you want. Spin caster, uh, bait caster even. Uh, here's a nice rubber band stuck to it on the inside here. Get that out of the way. Uh, take this. It's got this hanger. Pops off. Uh, this is all metal. All the mount. The, all this. Uh, it's got the logos from the company on it. Eau Claire Rods. It doesn't list the action and length on it, but this is actually a seven foot rod. Uh, every other cast, uh, cast telescopic rod I've had, like the other one was just right here. This one is a full seven foot rod. Most telescopics are five and a half, maybe six feet. Uh, and this is, this is pretty solid construction. It's way, way, way above that other one that broke. So I'm pretty psyched to have this. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm gonna go try it out. I'm gonna spool up. I've got a quantum reel that's not on a rod right now. It's a spinning rod. But like I was saying, you could probably put any kind of reel, rod on, or yeah, any kind of reel on this because this is probably like a hybrid. It's like medium eyelets. So you could put a spin caster, a bait caster, or a spinning, whatever you want. I'm gonna put a spinning reel on it. And I'm also going to a new lake today. Very important thing I left out. Uh, this company donates 10% of all their proceeds to the Boys and Girls Club of America. So it's very charitable as well. Uh, once again, all that information is going to be down below in the Amazon link. You can check it all out there. So uh, uh, let's get it on the lake. All right, this really doesn't have anything to do with the video I've been shooting today, but I was just walking down this ramp right here just to check it out. And the highway's right up above me up there. And look what I just found. Uh, a chopped up car right here on the side of the highway just been left here so, uh, yeah this has been cut off like a chop shot or chop or something 
took what they wanted and then ditched it here. So, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm walking up on the lake now. I'm supposed to be meeting Adam out here, but he's got a, a business lunch he's got to be at right now. So, uh, anyway, I've got the rod. Oh, look, it does have the information right there. Model T Carbon Elite, seven foot medium action high carbon, six to 12 pound line, quarter to five eighth ounce lure. Uh, I've got a Quantum 5 to Quantum 2000. 5-0 ratio. Uh, I'm just going to be throwing a Sanko for a little while. See how it works. Um, pretty accurate on the cast. I'll credit the rod for that. It says it's a medium action, but I think it's more actually more like a heavy action. It's kind of a, it's a pretty stiff rod. Got one already, look at that, got one. It's handling it pretty well. Oh, it slipped off. I wasn't able, I didn't, I had too much slack in the line, I missed him. Damn, that sucked, that was a good fish. That was about three pounds. I didn't have the hook set, that was my fault. Cause I didn't know, I had, I had too much slack in the line. I didn't know there was a fish on there until I was already, Reeling it in, couldn't set the hook then. Okay. Ah, oh, that sucked. Oh, well, here, let's test it out on the snag. Uh, holding up pretty well, it's not popping. Yep, there we go. The rod held up to a snag pretty well. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, the rod held up. It's not a very big one, but had some good, good leverage on it. Oh, look at that. Oh. You, oh. Top water strike on it though. I right, get it, get it. I think the tree was in the way, but I might have got that splash on video. <laughs> Let me get in there and try. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> oh yeah. I got it. Yep. Got yeah. him that time. <laughs> Damn, that's a bigger one too. Probably a pound, pound and a half, maybe. Nice coloring on it. Yeah, they're really healthy in this thing. Missed one. There's more there. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna use what I've been killing them with at the other place. Skinny Senko. Got one. Yep. I found what they wanted. A blue and black skinny Sanko. That's a nice solid pound. Got one. Ah, oh, sunfish. Another big fat sunfish. Something else I noticed, it's a lot of telescopic rods. They, uh, when you hook onto one of the eyelets like that and put some tension on it, a lot of times they'll collapse. This one doesn't do that. Got one. <laughs> just a little one. Well, in the last video I just had a little one and now Victor's got one over here. Looks to be a pretty decent one. Go help him out. Hmm? Oh no, he's good. He's good. That's a good hook set there. 
Oh, dude, Adam's got a monster over there. You see that? Get it! Oh, it's huge. Huh. Go check it out. Yeah, I got to get over there for that. <laughs> Saw the fight all the way over there. Yeah, skin Barely. Gonna... On the white grub. All right, I'm gonna submit this one. Do you have your the ruler? Yeah, yeah. It's on the side pocket. That thing catches them when they don't buy anyone else. This is like a 19 inch. This is an 18. 18 inches. Actually, I think you got a little bit of give there. It's a little more than 18. All right, there. So Almost 19. 18 and a half. <laughs> Just got in for some reason my lights are not picking up on the camera here it's real dark anyway uh, it got the job done it worked pretty well uh, the only real issues with it that I did personally didn't really like was uh, this section here the tail in there the handle it's a little bit too long I know a lot of guys you'd like to use that for leverage but all of my leverage is in the wrist, so I got all this extra stuff hitting me on the side here. Uh, some people like that, so can't really hold that against it. Uh, there are some uh, sensitivity issues with it, but that's not a flaw in the rod itself. That's a flaw with all telescopic rods. That's something like you're just not going to get that much sensitivity out of it. But that's not what telescopic rods are for. I mean, this one's a seven footer, so there's more sensitivity to it than there is on other rods, but. This one, it's meant to be something you carry around in your backpack. It's not meant to be something that you use fishing every single day. Uh, what I'm actually going to do with it is I'm going to keep it in the sheath that came in, the little quiver looking thing, and I'm going to keep the reel with it, and I'm going to keep sort of like a survival kit. I'm going to put a, a couple of basic soft plastics with it and a couple of hooks. and that should work. I, uh, I hooked one that had to be about three pounds and the rod handled that well until it spit the hook. Uh, I also hooked that log. The log itself must have been about 10 feet long and uh, probably weighed 50-60 pounds. The rod handled that until the, until the hook came out. Uh, as far as the hook sets go, I uh, had a couple of nice hook sets there on it, especially the first fish that I really landed. And then I got a couple other fish on it pretty well. So uh, it it works. I like it. Uh, it's not going to be my everyday rod, but uh, I am going to continue using it for sure. Uh, all of this is metal. That I can't stress how important that is because every other telescopic rod you find, they're always like plastic. So... That's pretty important. This is a pretty, pretty solid rod. Uh, and if you buy it from the Amazon link below, a uh, portion of it goes to charity, the Boys and Girls Club. It works pretty. It's so it's a win-win for everybody. And uh, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching.